Paddle is a versatile software to calculate various molecular descriptors and fingerprints. The software currently calculates 1875 descriptors including 1444 1D and 2D descriptors and 431 3D descriptors. Along with that, it is also capable of generating 12 different types of fingerprints. In the previous videos, I have shown you how you can generate these different types of fingerprints using Paddle. In this video, I will talk about generating 1875 2D and 3D descriptors using Paddle software. So let me take you to the Google Colab notebook. The first step is installing and importing Paddle Pi. So let's just go ahead and do that. After it has been successfully installed, I am gonna be importing pandas and numpy which will help us in data manipulation. Along with that, I am importing paddle descriptor and from smiles functions from paddle pi. So for today's session, I am gonna be using a data set which contains smile strings of 100 alcohols. So let's just read this file with pandas and have a look at the first 10 molecules. As you can see here, we have the name as well as smile strings of the different types of alcohols. Now the very first function that I'm gonna show you for cal calculating different molecular descriptors from pedal is from smiles function. The from smiles function accepts a smile strings or a list of smile strings as an argument and returns a Python dictionary with descriptors, fingerprint names, values as key values pairs. Now, if multiple smile strings are supplied, from smiles function returns a list of dictionary. So let me practically show you what it means here. Now, let us just suppose that there is only one molecule for which you want to calculate the descriptors. For that, all you have to do is use this from smiles function and give the first argument as the smile string. So this is the smile string of the very first molecule here, which is 2-phenoxyethanol, which I have copied and pasted over here. Now there are two more arguments, descriptors and fingerprints. Their function depends upon their values. If their values we have given is true, it will calculate descriptors, all the 2D and 3D descriptors. Here I have kept fingerprints as false. So that means it will not calculate the pubcam fingerprint, which comes with default. So let's just run this and see the output. The code has finished running and in the output you can see we have a dictionary with the descriptor name as key and descriptor value as the value of the dictionary. Now apart from copying and pasting you can also use indexing method. So where what I have done is grab the smile series and grab the index of the first molecule. It will give us the same output as before. And the output you can see here is very similar to what we have seen before. Now next I want to show you how you can calculate descriptors for the whole data set. Let's just go ahead and have a look at the data set again. Now you know we have name as well as the smile strings. So what I'm gonna be doing here is providing list of smiles as an argument and the output will be list, list of dictionaries. Now if you remember previously we had we had a smile strings here now we need to calculate the descriptors for a large number of molecules and what I'm doing here is that I am using a panda series and converting in, into list using to list command here. So rest of the arguments are same. The descriptors value is true and fingerprint value is false. So let's just run this and have a look at our output. After it has finished running, you can see here we have a very long list. It contains around 100 dictionary, each corresponding to a particular molecule. And each dictionary has 1875 key value pairs. Now, to visualize it more appropriately, what I'm doing here is converting this list of dictionaries into a data frame and concatenating it to our original data frame which contains names and smile strings. So let's do that. And in the output you can see 
we have name smile strings and all the 1875 2d and 3d descriptors now if you want again you can go ahead and import it as an excel or csv file another function that i want to talk about is paddle descriptor function now alternatively you can have more control over paddle descriptor with the command line wrapper function any combination of arguments supported by paddle descriptor can be accepted by the paddle descriptor function so first step here is converting this data frame of smiles or panda series to a single file with the dot smi extension make sure you don't have any hint index or headers in it so let's run this and here in the temporary folder you can see we have alcohol stored smi file next we are going to be using this parallel descriptor function for calculating various descriptors it takes some arguments which we need to input for example this is the input file which we have just generated secondly we also need to put the name of the output file where we want the descriptors to be stored there are various other arguments which do their job depending upon whether their values is true and false for example d underscore 2d is true here that means it will calculate only 2d descriptor whereas 3 underscore 3d is false so it will not calculate 3d descriptors similarly fingerprints here is false so it will not generate any fingerprints retain order is true that means the output will be in the same order as that of the input now there are various other arguments i highly recommend you to go visit the github page of the paddle pie wrapper this is the official page of paddle pie and if you go uh, in the end in the command line wrapper section you will find information about all these arguments for now let me just focus on these six arguments here and let me run the code and see what we got now at the end you can see here in the temporary folder of google Cloud, we have descriptor stored csv file so let's just read this and have a look at the first five molecules as you can see here the first column is a name which is just a random name generated by paddle and rest all of these are 2d descriptors of length 1444 now if you want to calculate just 3d descriptors what i'm gonna do here is that keep the value of 2d descriptors as false and of that of 3d descriptor as true let's rerun this code it will overwrite the file of descriptors.csv here and in the next step we are gonna be importing this file now you can see the first five data points here and you can very well see that all of these have missing values so basically it means that the descriptor function was unable to generate the 3d descriptors but why is that this is because for generating 3d descriptors we need 3d geometries and these smile strings does not contain any information about 3d coordinates now to solve this problem we just have a simple solution all we need to do is turn this convert 3d argument to true mode and what it will do is generate the 3d geometries from these smile strings so let's run this again and see our output now in the output you can see that all the descriptors has some numeric value so that means that now better descriptor was successful in generating all these 3d descriptors now in order to see the descriptors corresponds to which smile strings what i'm gonna do here is drop this name column from here and concatenate it to our original data set which contains names and smile strings so let's run this and see the output now we have the data set which contains names smiles and all the 3d descriptors again you can go ahead and if you want download as an excel or csv file using dot to excel and csv command now there is another way you can utilize this parallel descriptor function previously i have shown you that you can use this dot smi extension as an input which contains all these smile strings there is another way around what you can do is use dot sdf file extension which contains the 3d coordinates of the molecules now for generating that all you have to do is copy one of the smile strings from our data set 
So let's just print our data set here. What I'm gonna do here is that copy this mild string so far, first molecule which is 2-phenoxyethanol and go to this pubchem website and paste it in the quickly find chem chemical information section. I'm gonna hit the search tab and now we have the information about this 2-phenoxyethanol molecule. All you have to do is go to this download link here, go to this command structure records and make sure you turn the 3D coordinate type on and then just hit the SDF file. What it will do is it will store the dot sdf file containing 3d coordinates of 2-phenoxyethanol on your computer now go to google collab notebook and upload this dot sdf file in your temporary folder i have uploaded the phenoxyethanol dot sdf file and what i'm gonna do here is that put this file name in the mole underscore dir argument i'm also gonna change the output file name as phenoxyethanol.csv since we are only interested in generating 3d descriptors now so i'm gonna leave these as such and run the code let's see the data set now since this is just one molecule so we have just one row over here containing all the 3d descriptors now before i end this session one last point that I wanna make is that due to free rotation around carbon-carbon single bond, a molecule can have infinite spatial arrangements. That means for a molecule we can have infinite 3D coordinates. That means there is a high possibility that 3D geometries of a molecule taken from one source can differ from the 3D geometries of the same molecule generated by a different software. Now the point I am trying to make here is that this, there is a possibility that the 3D coordinates of .stf file over here can be quite different from the one that we generated using convert 3D argument here. Now to make my point more clear, I am going to practically show you this and what I am going to do here is that take the mean of all the descriptor values of phenoxyethanol. So what I am doing here is that I am grabbing all the columns except name and I am calling a mean function on it which would calculate the mean of all the columns. So let's run this. Now you can see here the mean of all these descriptors is 49.3363. Now I'm now I'm gonna go up here where we calculated the descriptors using .sml file and what I'm gonna do here is that I'm gonna calculate the mean of the first row over here which contains the descriptors for phenoxyethanol molecule then I'm gonna compare it to what we calculated just now so let's just take the mean of the first row so here you can see the value is 47.353 and the one with .stf file we have a mean value of 49.3363. The point is that the descriptor values calculating using these two different methods and these two different geometries are little different. Again there is nothing right or wrong. Ideally we need to have the optimized geometries here that means we need to have 3D coordinates of the minimum energy conformation for accurate results. When you are calculating 3D descriptors, make sure you are abstracting 3D geometries from a reliable source. I'm gonna end this talk right here. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section. I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.